Hello everybody, Pazzi here. Welcome back to Nancy Drew, Midnight in Salem. I want to see if I can show DJ uh, this letter or not. Uh, nope, she does not respond to that. Alright, shall we leave the premises now? Okay, I think we should get going. Are you ready to leave yet? We don't have all day. Yes, let's get going. How is traveling going to work? I wonder, guys. Hi. Nance, how have you been? Thanks for finally picking up. Uh, sorry, I've been on a flight. Busy on another case, huh? You know, you should really enjoy yourself more, Nance. Life's too short to be working all the time. This isn't work for me. It's fun. Besides, crime doesn't take a vacation. Speaking of which, how's yours? <laughs> Ned, come on! Yeah, one second. Sounds like you are having fun. Uh, you know, standard fare. Nothing too crazy. I miss you, Nance. I miss you. Hey, give it back. Two. Nancy, I'll call you later. Call you later, Nancy. Well, that was... That was annoying. <laughs> well, that was definitely interesting. Yeah, how tr is traveling going to work in this game? Are we going to click on locations on the map? Or what? Did we pick from choices? Or are we really going to drive in this game? Oh, we are here! We have magically transported to this new location now. So let's take a look around. Some kind of protest going on. Mila's Drugstore. Oh, hello! <laughs> you scared me just now. Deirdre, you trying to sneak behind me? The museum is over there, across the square. That's where we can get the real witches tour tickets. The judge's office is in that building. If we want to go see him first, dive into the case, I think we should head right for the judge. What do you think? Do you know anything about the protests going on outside the building? So, looks like we can pick between these two, judge or the tour. Hmm... I kind of want to go onto the tour first. Can we go on the tour? Maybe check out the witch tour? Something might pop out at us. Ugh, are you serious? I think witches are kind of cool. And you never know what you'll learn. Come on. What is with you? What is with me? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Why are you so not interested in tours? Almost like you are trying to avoid them on purpose. Ooh, there is a ton of people here. Visitors! By now you know the story of the witches of Salem. Those poor souls were caught in a time of fear and greed, and they paid the price. They may have died, but witchcraft lives on in Salem. Oh, this should be interesting. The world would have you believe witches were not real. I'm not talking about old, ugly women who curse their neighbors and fly on broomsticks. The truth is, is witches are real. They have always been real. They are alive and well. They are powerful, carrying the secrets of the world beyond the one we see. Ritual, mystery, magic. Most exist now only in secret, and they may be standing among you even now. It is 
said that in Salem, a coven of witches settled in recent years, set on revenge for the deaths of the Salem witches. Their ritual, one midnight on Halloween, unleashed the angry spirits of the past. That's so cool. <gasps> Whoa. How did you do that? The blue Thank smoke magic. You. Now, if any of you are interested in the real history of the Witches of Salem, I provide self-guided tours through some of my favorite locations in town. And perhaps you too will see one of the restless dead. Even Austria used the same kind of stage magic she's using. Thief? There was a thief? What were you doing there? Visiting a spooky old castle. You'd have liked it. Do you regularly fly to Europe for investigations? Sometimes. And if you want to learn about being a witch, come forward. I'm raising my hand. I'm interested. <laughs> I need to get more information, guys. But the blue smoke bomb. Looks just like that thief used back in Europe. It's the same kind. I wonder if the thief and this lady here are related or not. I don't think she is the thief, but uh, yeah. I remember him being uh, slightly slimmer than what we're seeing here. <laughs> so, hello, uh -oh, Olivia. Here comes trouble. Me? Trouble? Ever. Well, nothing too bad, I hope. Did you know that in the Malleus Maleficarum, ginger hair was the sign of a witch? You're my kind of people. I'm not nearly as talented as you are. Aw, shucks. You're making me blush. Oh, there it is. Now I'm turning red. You truly are a witch. So to become a witch, do I need to take a test or get a diploma? <laughs> a true witch is not made with pieces of paper. She is born to it and will feel the call. Bureaucracy is for persecutors. We don't need permission. We don't live by the rules. <laughs> anyway, what can I help you with? Okay, uh, let's see what we can extract from her. How did you perform that trick? A witch never reveals her secrets. It's against the witch code. A code? I thought bureaucracy and rules were for persecutors. Although, if you take my self-guided tour, I promise you will learn at least one secret about being a witch. And what would that be? How often do you do this show? Most nights. It gets busier around Halloween. And I'm sure you can figure out why. How about the night that the Hathorn house was burned? <clears throat> you look a little young to be working for the police, dear. Oh no, it's nothing like that. We're just curious tourists. Good. Because I've already spoken with them. And so, you were here. I was out of town. Did you girls know that Salem is haunted? There's a ghost here. If you go on my tour, you'll learn where you can find it. Oh, you want the tour? You are the tour guide? Oh, I didn't know that. Have you lived in Salem for long? Born and raised. So you know the Perrys? Of course. Not well. If you are looking for them, Tegan is at the museum. She works there. Not well. We're staying with Tegan. I figured there was some history between you two. That was a long time back. We don't talk much now. And May? Yes, I know her too. Not spoken to her for a long time either. But you've heard the rumors about her. May is a troubled girl. And sometimes such girls get blamed for things that were not their... I don't think she burned down the Hathorn house if that's what you're trying to get at. People with mundane minds look for mundane explanations. Do you really believe some modern witch coven unleashed ghosts on Salem? About eight years back, there were rumors of a coven that they performed a ritual to return the dead witches to Salem to seek out their revenge before the witches moved on. Is there any evidence of such a coven? Ever since then, ghost sightings have gone through the roof. Salem is now considered the most haunted place in the country. Interesting. 
You think it's a coincidence that the former home of the Hathorns was set on fire? Well, that was definitely intentional. How else could the fire have started? I heard there was not a single living soul in the house when it started burning. Keyword. Living. The world is composed of two equal parts. Dark and light. The light we see every day. It's the trees, the people, the birds. It's our world. You can even see it at night. The dark is the unknown. A plane of existence that vibrates just underneath the light. But if you were in a place like Salem, a place where a painful history permeates every surface, every crack, every brick, and every tomb, the dark will appear. Usually when you least expect it. That's why they say, don't be out past midnight in Salem, because the dark may reach out and take you. Also, did you know that Salem has more ghost sightings than any other city in North America? If you want to learn why, you should go on my tour. <laughs> well, we are going on to your tour, don't worry about that. Talk to you later. When is your tour starting? Wow, they look very excited, guys. Are they all here waiting for the tour also? Huh. Hmm. <laughs> those candles again, huh? There's something weird about those candles. What do you think, Deidre? The museum is over there, across the square. That's where we can get the real witches tour tickets. Oh! The judge's office is in that building. If we want to go see him first, dive into the case, I think we should head right for the judge. What do you think? Check out the witch tour. Maybe check out the witch tour? Something might pop out at us. <laughs> are you serious? I think witches are kind of cool. And you never know what you'll learn. Come on. What is with you? You know what? I... I feel like I'm more interested in the tour given out by Olivia here. <laughs> Can I go on her tour instead and not the museum tour? I feel like her tours are going to be very special. <laughs> Alright, we have to go back uh, this way to get to the museum. Can we talk to the protesters? The specter may be hanging over Salem. But that doesn't keep the town from getting into the Halloween spirit. What are they protesting about? Let's get closer. And are you the organizer? Justice? is really chanting up a storm. What has them so angry? I don't know. Let me talk to this lady on the back. Why are there protesters in a small town like this? She's a tourist. So, alright, let's go inside the museum. Those candles again. Why are there candles outside every building? Is it because of the witches? Maybe all the candles will be lit at midnight. So, directions, Alicia Co. Evidence Room, Courtroom, Judge Danforth, Restrooms. Yes, can I help you? Hi, sorry.
sorry to bother you, but we were looking for Judge Danforth's office. Just across the hall? Why? What did you two girls do? We didn't do... I'm kidding. Alicia Cole, Esquire. Nice to meet you. I'm Nancy Drew, and this is Deirdre Shannon. You're a lawyer. Salem's best. The only practicing lawyer in the historic town limits, if you could believe it. And if you girls were in any trouble, I'd have no problem representing you. You both have that innocent look. Juries love it. So you're saying we could get away with a crime? We? No? Partners in crime? Sorry to bother you, Miss Cole. We'll check in with the judge. Have a good evening. A lawyer, eh? Maybe you can represent me? Do you know anything about the case? Yes, can I help you? I'll come back later. We can't even talk to her right now. Okay. What about straight ahead? So the courtroom is here. That is close. Judge Danforth. His office is on the right hand side. You'd really become my enemy if I committed a crime? Sorry. You shouldn't joke about that. Why? You gonna arrest me? No, but I'd call the police to report you. I'd also recommend you a decent lawyer. Because I'm an excellent witness for the prosecution. Wow. I'm a lawyer's daughter, Deirdre. Don't mess with me. Hello? Judge Danforth. Yeah, hello. Ted, is that you? Ted? Um, no, Your Honor. My name is Nancy Drew. I think you've spoken with my father. Nancy Drew? Carson's daughter? Yes, and I'm with my friend Deirdre Shannon. We're investigating the arson of the Hathorn house. Ah, yes, yes. Can we come in? Well, you see, no, I mean, I'd let you in, but I seem to have been locked in my office and I, uh, I need some help getting out. All right, so, hmm, there's no key in your office. Do you know where I could find a key to your office? Yes, I believe I gave a copy of the key to Alicia Cole as backup. She's just down the hall. I hope she's still here. Yes, she's still here. Hello? Judge Danforth. I was hoping we could talk about the Hathorne House case. Yes, it's a terrible tragedy for our town, but let's table that discussion for later, okay? I'd like to get out of my office first. the Book of Apologies? You know, the book in Austria. At the Mosam Castle? Yes, Nancy, I would love to talk about it, but I would really love if we could do it in person, face to face, as opposed to through this door. I don't mind talking to you with a door between us. <laughs> I feel more comfortable this way, Judge. I'll come back later. I don't really mind. <laughs> okay, what's over here? The restrooms? Absolutely... Whoa! You scared me again! <laughs> Deirdre! Stop following me! You are, you are sitting too close to me! <laughs> Maybe we can learn something about the town. Might help May's case. Deirdre and all her jump scares. Whoa! Here you are again! <laughs> I need to get... more... Man, I need to get used to this. <laughs> she always shows up in a more unexpected way. It's not good, guys. Yes, can I help you? He said you might have a key. <laughs> Sorry, I gave him my spare. Unbelievable. Does this ever end? Oh, well then, 
Do you have a paper clip? Yeah. And if you don't mind me asking, what business do you two have with the judge? We're helping the judge with the case. Anything I can assist you with? Thanks, but I think we got it. No need for a lawyer. At least, not yet. Yeah, sorry. It's really none of your business. <laughs> so... Hey, there is a yellow dot and a green dot. On the phone. Hey Nancy, did you give me your number? Sorry about before, I was stressed. Oh, don't worry about it, and thanks for getting in contact. Where can I find the museum? Oh, you are so welcome to come by. We are on the opposite side of the town square from the courthouse. Just turn right and go past the old cemetery. You can miss it. Great. Thanks, I'll stop by. Okay, so museum is where we can start the tour. Alright, let's see what we can do with the paperclip. I think we are all professional lockpickers. Hello? Judge Danforth. I have a lot of experience in these guys in all those casual adventure games. I'll come back later. So we can probably lockpick this door open. Judge Danforth? I couldn't find your key. What? Uh, Alicia said she'd keep a copy for me. Well, I did find a paper clip. I think I can pick your luck, if that's okay with you. Yeah, sure, fine. 